Thank you so much for inviting me to this dinner. Oh, no problem, Faith. After all, it is a pretty important dinner before Tilly's dad leaves for his soldier thing. Hi, Tilly. Hi, Mommy. Daddy, are you, are you going to be back for Christmas? Of course, honey. Maybe I can ask my mom if I can come over for Christmas. I love all your jokes, Peter. <laughs> I know you love them, Face. Hey, uh, I'm really sorry to out to like rush out like this, but I think I should go. The airport leaves pretty soon. Daddy, Tilly, Daddy, please don't go. I've been over this so many times, Tilly, and I already made a promise that I could go on a, on a night flight just so I could hang out with you, your mom. No, but sometimes, no offense, but I wish you weren't a soldier. Uh, it's a little bit different than regular work. But I'll be back for Christmas, okay? Survive your last week of school, you know? <laughs> Probably survive with faith. So awesome. <laughs> yeah. Bye, dear. Bye, Peter. Daddy! Miss Scott, she's really attached to him. She is, probably as much as I am. Daddy! Your special hat. Thank you so much, Tilly. Now, what would I ever do without you? Would I go? <laughs> Bye, Daddy. Bye, Tilly. I love Daddy so much. Do I wish you wouldn't have to travel so much? Bye, Faith. Oh, be right there. That's Daddy's favorite tree. And Daddy's favorite decorations. Daddy's probably there could call me. What? Uh, are, are you serious, Dad? That happened to him? What? What? Oh my dog. Dog. Oh, oh my dog. Right before Christmas. Well, I have to make it up to Tilly some way. Huh? Yes. Yes. We're all okay. Mom, drunk. <laughs> Mommy, Tilly, it's about your father. I know this is pretty. I know you're not really used to hearing this type of stuff about your dad, but what? <sighs> Mom, he he got into. <laughs> he was really. He was just chilling on the plane, but then this other plane crashed to the plane. And made it. so the whole basic thing is that your father now is dead. Daddy, daddy's dead. I'm afraid so. It's not your fault. No, just this is all my fault. Maybe if I didn't ask him to make it a night flight, then maybe none of this wouldn't happen. Tilly, it's not your fault at all. It's life. Life like this happens and- Oh, it's my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault! I don't understand, Mom. I could have done something. If I knew this was all gonna happen, then I could have- I could have had a glimpse of- I could have had a glimpse of- <laughs> That's what Peter always said. Tilly. 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 Huh? I mean... <clears throat> 36! No! 42, sir! No. Tilly, if you haven't noticed, you're in a class with 6th graders, and you should know by now what the, the gender differences are I am a she not a he and the correct answer of what X will equal is 27 not all that gibberish it looks like someone needs to study <laughs> let's go it's uh, winter break oh, let's do we'll go winter break oh my god oh, we should totally go to justice yes
Wait up. Honestly, don't know why you got that math question wrong. You're the smartest kid in our class. And you're good at math, surprisingly. Oh, no, 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 not that um, I think that you're dumb and all, because surprisingly, you know, math. <laughs> I, I, I don't think you're dumb, it's just that math is a really hard subject, and I'm not really good at it. It's just, uh, it's whatever. Okay. Can you please tell your bestie what's up? You do not need to know everything about my dang business. Just stay away from me for a little bit. Just, hello, sweetie. Come on, we gotta go. Get your mom here. What the tail do you think you're doing here? At your first Oh, I thought. You so in- Dad knows that you do not- That- That I do not like when parents come in. You're literally the worst mom ever. I hate you. And I wish Christmas could end. Christmas is literally so stupid. Tilly, do not say that. Dude, did you see that? That was so funny. You know, right? Um, Tilly's mom, can you please tell me- If you don't mind. Can you tell me why she's been acting like this? This is between you and me and me telling you this, but Tilly's dad died yesterday. He's such a good gentleman. I feel bad. We should make it up to her. How about we cheer her up? How about I contact your mom about something? Yeah, sure. It'll help her Christmas spirit. You know what? I'm just not gonna sit here and be proud with all this Christmas stuff. And definitely won't be needing these anymore. And I especially don't need these stupid Christmas lights anymore. Tilly! Aw oh, man. What? What the tale is this and why you're taking all the lights down? I worked extra hard just so you could have those lights up. And you and your dad worked hard on these decorations. Exactly! He's not around anymore. And uh, he loved Christmas. And he's not around anymore. So why should Christmas be a thing? Billy, Christmas is for everybody. It's for spending time with the people you love. I can't spend time with my daddy anymore. Why am I forced to believe a man? That half of the universe doesn't even realize that he's not even real. Do not say that. Well, it looks like you're one of them. Here, there's someone on the phone for you. Better not be my friend. Hilly, stop feeling sorry about yourself and just take this. And once you're done, clean this mess up and put everything back to the way it was. And, and, I, and I don't care what you think. Yeah. My dog. Tilly. Hi. It's your bestie. Wait. What the heck do you want? You're one of those believers about Santa. And I don't even want to talk to you. You're part of the reason why I'm embarrassed also. Uh, Tilly, I didn't mean to make you embarrassed. Look, I, I, I heard what happened to your dad. And I just want to say I'm really sorry. You are such a gentleman. So kind and... Oh. The tail. Did you know that my dad died? Were you stalking me and my mom? No, I would never do that. You're my friend. I gave you all that time and whatever. It's so clear that Killy. Just listen. I, I'm here for you. You may not believe it, but I'm here for you. A true friend would leave you for what happened. Whatever happened. I'm here for you. And I'll help you receive the all pass and make your Christmas wonderful. I'll try. Wow. I, I was literally just about to, I was turning on the lights and I heard all that. I... I... What is the real meaning of Christmas? They to spend time with the people you love and the friends and family. And dads with love and kindness. That's what makes Christmas magical. 
is to help people and get through all of the problems. And right now, I'm gonna help you with the loss of your dad. We're just gonna do something fun. I'll come over to your house and have a Christmas dinner together, okay? Thank you so much. I know you can realize the true meaning of Christmas. And I'm really sorry that I was acting like a total female dog to you. Don't say that about yourself. And I didn't think you were too bad. And I'm being honest. Anyway, I gotta go. My brother's hockey game is today and I cannot miss it. Well, <laughs> oh, siblings. This makes me glad that I'm an only child. Okay, bye. Wow, Tilly. I love your room for Christmas. I wish my room was just as good as yours. <laughs> Tilly? Are you okay? Does it look like I'm okay? Tilly. Oh, oh, Faith. I wish I could just get over my death of dad for you and for mom, but I, I don't know how to do it. I wish he never died. <laughs> now, Tilly, my parents were divorced. It was the hardest thing that I faced. It was before I met you. And it was right before Thanksgiving. I don't even know how I was going to celebrate two Thanksgivings. It's different. This is Christmas, not Thanksgiving. Which was a month ago. No, but it was hard for me to get over this. But my mom and my friends there for me. So now I'm gonna help you get over the death of your dad. We're all here for you. There are so many people that care about you like me, mom, your family. Thanks. Thanks, but you don't have to do this for me. You can just go grab your sleeping bag. Oh, no, it's okay. Really. And Tilly, get through this. You and me. Okay? Chili. Huh? Daddy? Just because I'm not here, that doesn't mean it can stop your c Christmas spirit. No matter what you do, no matter what you see, I'm always there. You may not see me all the time, but I'll always be there. Thanks, Dad. Better get some sleep, otherwise Santa won't come. You know that's the rule.